Hi, I'm Anupa and I welcome you to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. On the occasion of Valentine's Day, I'm going to be showing you a very, very, very simple recipe. It's a chocolate cake with lots of strawberries. So very quickly, let's go through the ingredients. Refined flour, butter, sugar, eggs, milk, baking powder, vanilla essence, cocoa powder, strawberries, cream, dark cooking chocolate. First of all, we have to make the base cake, which is a chocolate sponge cake, for which I'm going to be starting off with using butter. I need soft butter for this cake, so just in case you have butter which is kept in the refrigerator, get it out at least an hour before you start making the cake. Turn into smaller cubes so it comes down to room temperature fast. I'm going to be making it in this kitchen aid so that uh, the process is faster. You could also use electric other beaters that you get in the market or you could also use a hand and a wooden spoon to mix the cake mixture. So the butter. Make sure the butter is soft and not melted because you need soft butter as you are going to incorporate a lot of air in this. And to this we will add sugar. Beat this mixture till it is nice, light and fluffy. So this may take anywhere around 10 to 15 minutes. In the meanwhile, let's make truffle icing. So uh, for truffle icing, we have to melt this chocolate. We've got about two cups of cooking chocolate here. And this is going to take about a minute in the microwave. So let's melt this chocolate in the microwave for one minute. chocolate is melting what we have to do is mix this while it is still hot so that the entire chocolate melts and we are going to use this to ice the cake we are making truffle icing this chocolate we need to melt it further so just keep on mixing till it becomes very very smooth you see this chocolate is absolutely thin well melted now we'll just quickly mix in the cream in this so for that what we need to do is take a kitchen towel and now gradually add in the cream. The reason why I have kept the kitchen towel below this bowl is so that it gets a good grip. It's easier for you to hold the bowl and at the same time mix it nicely. You see this glaze in the chocolate? It's because of the cream that we've added. And as you add the cream, the chocolate thickens. You see this? This is ready. But we need to use it after we've baked the cake. So in the meanwhile, we'll refrigerate this for some time. And now let's get back to the cake. The butter and the sugar is absolutely light and fluffy. Now we'll add egg one at a time. We can also add in two eggs at a time. So two eggs. After we've added in two eggs, we need to add two more. Before that, we have to just mix this very well. Leave enough intervals between the addition of eggs because if you add too many eggs at a time, the mixture will split. So make sure after you've added two eggs, you whip the batter very well for 5 minutes and then add in the next batch of eggs. So here. So here I've added in all the eggs. We will add vanilla essence to this. To this we'll add. To this we'll add baking powder. And we have to mix this. the cocoa powder and just keep on sieving it like this. So what happens is while you are sieving, firstly you are incorporating air, secondly the flour, cocoa powder and baking powder gets mixed evenly. We put this back here. To this we will add in some milk. This is done. Whatever excess flour that you see. On the side of the bowl, we will mix it once again before we put this into a 
cake mold. Let us mix it up once again nicely like this. So, this is done. I have a cake mold here, a nice round cake mold which I have greased with butter and after which I have sprinkled some flour on this. So, this is how it looks. We have to pour all of this. Once you pour the batter, even it out, put it onto a baking tray and the entire thing will go into the oven preheated at 200 degrees centigrade. The cake will take anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes and once the cake is ready, we have to demold it, cool it and then we will ice the cake. Here I have a cake which we have already baked. It's cool so that we can ice it right away. So, how do we start with the icing? First of all, we will take this onto a turn table like this. Why have we cooled the cake? It is necessary to cool the cake because we are going to be putting icing on top. If the cake is hot, the icing will melt and it will not set. So, it is very important for us to cool the cake. So, once the cake is baked and you have demolded it, set it aside for at least an hour till it comes down to room temperature. So, this cake is ready. Do not worry about the cracks which may come even in your cake. We are going to slice this off and give it a good base. So, first we have to trim the top. Make sure you have a very very even base. So, once you have trimmed the top, we are ready to ice the cake. Let us sandwich it. So, for which we have to cut it like this. So now after we have cut this into two, very important thing that we are going to do now is going to give it a heart shape. Since we are doing this for Valentine's Day, let us make a heart shaped chocolate cake. I have a paper cut out here which I am going to place over this and with the help of a very sharp knife, we have to cut this. Wow, perfect. Okay, so now that we have trimmed the cake, let us cut some strawberries. These strawberries that I am cutting, we are going to be sandwiching it in the cake. So, let us cut it like this. After we have cut the strawberries, we have to melt the chocolate truffle icing for 15 seconds. You could also melt this over a double boiler, but microwave is quite convenient. You see the glaze that it has? It is all because of the cream and the dark chocolate that we have used. So now, what we are going to do is pour a little bit of this. The cut strawberries will sprinkle over this and here we will place the top deck of the cake. Now once again we need to melt this. Once again we have melted this and now we have melted it a little more because we just have to pour this over the cake. That is it. The excess will all flow down and that is exactly what we want. If you wish to cover the sides, use a palette knife and the icing and just cover the sides. Working with chocolate does get quite messy, but the end result is very nice. Now let us garnish this with strawberries. Garnish it whichever way you want it. So, here you go, heart shaped chocolate truffle cake with strawberries is ready. Make it just the way I have made it, and you will be very happy.